Sobiachi, would you ever buy a house sight unseen? In 2018, 20% of all home buyers did exactly that. And through COVID in 2020, that number has consistently risen for a lot of different reasons. Today, we're gonna dive into some tips and tricks that you're gonna need if you're gonna buy a house sight unseen. So why are so many people buying sight unseen? Well, back in 2018, which I referenced in the opener there, there are a lot of times that homes were hitting the market and two hours later they had multiple offers because our inventory was so low. Now you add that plus people don't wanna travel for COVID reasons and you've got this sort of increase of homes being sold sight unseen. All right, so step number one when you're getting ready to buy a house sight unseen is getting really clear about your non-negotiables. Those are like bedrooms, baths, do you need an office at home because you're working from home because of COVID or whatever reasons going on? And just really getting very clear on the area that you want as well. If you're looking in Orlando, do you wanna be in a short-term rental area? Do you wanna be in a non-short-term rental area? All of those are really important things to nail down ahead of time. You might wanna consider doing a home shopping trip just to familiarize yourself with the area. And so that way, when you know the right house hits the market, whether that's resale or new construction, that you're able to move on it right away. So step number two in the process is getting pre-approved because there's a few things that you really need to consider if you're relocating to the area. Is your job relocating you or are you working virtually and are you allowed to move even though you're working virtually? There's a lot of times that your boss still wants you to work in the same state as the company. So getting those things taken care of up front were gonna be really important. So that house right there, those folks, I had been working with them for a while. They came and did a home shopping trip, knew the area that they wanted to be in, but we couldn't find any resales that they really liked. So it was literally just me stalking and stalking MLS, looking for off-market deals. We saw that one pop up and it was exactly what they were looking for. So went on FaceTime, then shot a video, sent them the video. We did the inspection, everything, and they bought it completely sight unseen. They came here on closing day for the final walkthrough and they loved it. They got to spend a couple months there before they went back home. And uh, man, it's been fantastic to see how many people are doing that and trusting the process and having success with it. All right, so step number three is gonna be hiring the team or agent to help represent you in the buying process. And this is a really important part because there's two things you need to think about here. One is do they have the experience in the exact location that you're looking to buy? Because that way they're gonna start thinking about stuff like, okay, there's a house coming up that I know that's on this street, or maybe that if you're looking to move to this area, you should really think about X, Y, and Z so that you don't get into trouble. Those things are really important. Step number two when you're choosing an agent is really, are they gonna be active in the process for you? So like for me, an example, for a new construction, I'm visiting the site every single week to make sure that the house is coming along properly so that you don't get stuck with any issues along the way. So here's one of the houses that I actually helped somebody, they're relocating to the area. They've actually only visited the neighborhood. They've actually never seen this house. And so I go by every week to take photos and video to make sure that things are progressing that the way that they should and that they're getting the house that they were promised by the builder. So let's take a look. So like this house in particular, the buyers have driven the neighborhood just to kind of get to know the, the Winter Garden area in general. Then when this lot became available, we jumped on it to make sure that they got it. And then I visit every week to make sure that the process is going the way that it should. And then they're gonna move here probably a month after the house is finished. So originally, we noticed that the niche right here, which they paid for, was not included. They paid for it. It was in the selection sheet, but the builder had forgot it. So little things like that, we're making sure that they get done and they're done well, so that when they finally do move in, it's the exact house that they, they had pictured in their head. Are most agents discounted? I mean, it's, it's like hit or miss, right? There's so many realtors here that once they just get their name on the contract, they disappear and they show up at closing for their check. Other guys like myself, I specialize in certain areas around Orlando, so I'm constantly in all of these neighborhoods to make sure that I can check in with my clients' homes so that, again, they're getting exactly what they hoped for. How long does the process take? Um, the new construction process, depending on the builder, is going to be anywhere from like five to six months on the lower inside of the builders, or up to over a year on the more custom side. Kahov, which is where we are today, these guys are about an eight-month build process. 
Here's another good like little mistake that we caught. The builder actually put a wall up here and they paid for spindles all the way down here. So you can see the wall used to go right here and we were like, wait a minute, there's not supposed to be a wall here. It's supposed to be spindles. Make sure you take care of that stuff. So again, this could have been a, like a, a delay in closing. It could have been an expensive change, um, all of those things. So we're just trying to catch as much as we can up front to make it really nice. All right, so the fourth step I would say in the process of buying sight unseen is going to be finding the house that you really want. And so using Realtor.com or Zillow or the Realtor's lists that they send you, uh, obviously that's how you're gonna start the process. But then once you find the house you want, using Google Maps to figure out what's in the location, is there a gas pump station down the street? Is there some things about the neighborhood that you don't really know by just using the Google Street View, right? That's gonna be step number one. The next piece is like looking at, okay, if your Realtor can go in and get video of the house, because the photos online might look like it's white countertops and then you get there and they're kind of more yellow or how close are the houses together, right? The photographer is gonna sell the house and make it look amazing, but how does it look in person? And having your realtor there, somebody that you really trust that can also get it on video will be a huge step in the process. All right, so let's talk about minimizing risk in the process, because this is a risky thing, right? You're gonna put your deposit down within a few days of finally finding the house that you like and getting the offer accepted, but there's three ways that you can mitigate the risk. Number one would be the home inspection process. You're gonna have anywhere from 10 to 15 days to fly out and see the house if you want, or not everybody does. I have plenty of times where my buyers just trust the inspector to take dozens of photos to get to know the house even better in the process, but that's a way that you can get out of the contract if you absolutely need to, is during that inspection process. The second thing that you can do to minimize risk would be the appraisal contingency. Assuming that you're not in some massive multiple offer situation where appraisal contingency would be the difference between you getting the house or not, throw that in there. That's gonna make sure that you're not overpaying for the house that you're buying sight unseen. Number three would be that mortgage process. And in that process, making sure again, that your job is going to allow you to relocate here. If you're working virtually, that will be a really big step in the process. How is the second time? We gotta move the car again. So much new construction going on here, it's insane. Watch he gets out and beer cans just start falling out. <laughs> Can only do that one drunk. <laughs> I got a cool idea. What's up? Drone side chats. Drone side chats? Yeah. So just fly mic, around. mic you up, yeah. throw you on the drone, hit record from the whole thing, and then just do like a podcast. That's a cool idea. If you like that idea, drop in the comments below. If that's something that you would engage with or you'd watch, let us know. All right, so the last step of the process is gonna be the final walkthrough where you get to make sure that the sellers, all of their stuff is out. And I have plenty of buyers that fly in to see their house the first time at the final walkthrough. That's always a lot of fun. Uh, and then after that, it's closing. So listen, some people buy a house completely sight unseen. They don't see it for months after they've purchased the property. We can close you anywhere in the country where we can send a notary out to get to you. So I have clients buying in the UK, Canada, Brazil, and basically they go to the US consulate or just here locally, you can have somebody, your banker, typically as a notary. So any of those things, we can get you closed and funded and the keys delivered to you anytime. So listen, buying a house sight unseen does not have to be a scary thing. It can actually be a fun experience where you get exactly what you're looking for. All it takes is the right process and the right agents. If you're looking to buy or sell a house anywhere in Central Florida, I'd love to be your real estate resource of choice. So first off, subscribe to this channel because we're putting out videos every single week. Then reach out via phone at 407-717-0197 or shoot me an email at ken at posedgroup.com. We'll see you guys on the next video. Or go to Instagram. <laughs> or go to Instagram because apparently everybody wants to follow me on Instagram. So feel free, hit Instagram. I'm putting out stuff about Central Florida every single week, every single day. Right, Adam? <laughs> <laughs>